Who with that coming up this Saturday, no, this Sunday, May 29th, from T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, is the AEW Double or Nothing pay-per-view. So far, we do know of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 matches taking place on this show. And I thought I would run down the full card here and give you my predictions on who I believe could be walking out victorious at Double or Nothing. So first off on the buy-in, we do know that Hook and Danhausen will be taking on the team of Tony Nese and Smart Mark Sterling. This one's a no-brainer. It's going to be Hook and Danhausen picking up the victory. In a trios match, it's the House of Black against the Death Triangle. Now this one, a little harder to predict. But if I'm going to predict one team over the other, I would like to see House of Black win it, but I'm going to go the other way, and I think they give the win to Death Triangle. In an Anarchy in the Arena match, it's the Jericho Appreciation Society against the team of Eddie Kingston, John Moxley, Brian Danielson, Santana Ortiz, or Santana and Ortiz. I think this, uh, I got to go to the baby faces. I think the baby faces pick up the victory here. The JAS can lose and be perfectly fine, but I think the win here does go to the, uh, to the team of Kingston, Moxley, Danielson, Santana, and Ortiz. Also, we do know that we have MJF versus Wardlow. And I mean, do we have to predict this? It's got to be Wardlow. Wardlow has to pick up the victory here over MJF and then quote-unquote become a member of the AEW roster. Like, I still hate that whole shit, but I think Wardlow wins. He's no longer aligned with MJF, and he can sign with Tony Khan and AEW. Also, we do know in a match that they are calling, which is kind of a dumb name, the Elite versus the Elite. It's the Hardys against the Young Bucks. And if we look here, I think I would go the Young Bucks picking up the victory and then getting back in that tag title contention. I think that's the route I would go. Young Bucks defeating the Hardys. And also we do know, and we know that there is the Women's Owen Hart Finals. The Women's Owen Hart Tournament Finals. It's Britt Baker versus either Chris Statlander or Ruby Soho. We don't know who Baker will be facing, but I don't care. I'm going to say Britt Baker wins regardless. Also in the finals of the Men's Owen Hart Foundation Tournament, it is Adam Cole against Samoa Joe. I think Adam Cole wins because I think him and Britt Baker can go on a thing for a month or so and be like, look, we both win the tournament. We're the power couple. And then maybe Sammy and Tay, Ty Conti come and go, no, we're the real power couple. And then we get something with that. I don't know. In our first of, I want to say, three title matches with the TBS Championship on the line, Jade Cargill defending against Anna Jay. We've seen this before. This match is irrelevant. I don't know why this match is even happening. Just to get Jade on the pay-per-view, screw it. Jade picking up the win. In a triple threat match for the AEW World Tag Team Championships, and actually it's four title matches. In a triple threat match for the AEW World Tag Team Championships, Jurassic Express, Jungle Boy, and Luchasaurus, We'll be defending against Team Taz's Ricky Starks and Powerhouse Hobbs and the team of Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland. I'm going to go Jurassic Express retaining the titles. The AEW Women's World Championship on the line is Thunder Rosa defending against Serena Deeb. I'm going to go, I don't even have to think about this. It's Thunder Rosa retaining her daggum title. And finally, with the AEW World Heavyweight Championship on the line, it's Hangman Page defending against CM Punk. And this is a tough one. I can see Punk eventually will be this champion. But the question is, does he win it this weekend in Vegas? Or does he lose, work his way back to the title pitcher in September, and then become the champion in Chicago at All Out? That's the tough one. Do they have him win the title in Vegas, or do they have him win the title in Chicago? I would have him win the title in Chicago, but honestly, I think it's time to pull the trigger now. You don't have to, but I think it's time to pull the trigger now. CM Punk wins the belt. Could be wrong, but I think CM Punk wins the title this weekend, defeating Hangman Page. But with that, those are my predictions for this weekend's, this Sunday's AEW Double or Nothing pay-per-view. If we do hear anything else regarding Double or Nothing this coming weekend, well, love for you right here on Pro Wrestling Unlimited. And don't forget that we will also be reviewing the show exclusively over at twitch.tv forward slash PW Unlimited as soon as that show does go off the air.